The foundation of every state is the education of its youth. The first few weeks of school are particularly important and can be a bit frightening for both the students and yourself as a new teacher. Developing your classroom structure and teaching procedures are extremely important for creating an effective learning environment. The teachers and schools included in the video are first grade teacher Ms. Allison Larios of Parkside Elementary, fifth grade teacher Mrs. Dana Ripper of Heights Elementary, and lastly, sixth grade teacher, Mrs. Karen Phillips of Hillview Junior High School, who gave us her own insight and techniques that can be adopted by other teachers and implemented in your very own classrooms. So what we've really been doing the last few days, and will continue for the rest of the week in language arts, uh, are a lot of community building activities so that the students get to know each other and get to know me better. Uh, especially with sixth graders, a lot of them are really shy, they're really nervous, this is just a real, really big transition for them. And so we try to make that transition as smooth as possible. What I want to do before we go to lunch, and we'll continue this when we come back, is that we want to get to know a little bit more about each other, uh, to try to be comfortable. Um, because I know the first week of school is scary for a lot of you. Uh, looking forward to middle school is really a big deal, but when the time comes, a lot of times it's a little bit scary. We're going to put ourselves in order. This is going to be a silent activity. We're not going to do any talking. You don't have to bring it, get up, leave, leave everything at your desk except yourself. So listen, here's what you're going to do. We're going to get in order by birthdays month and year, but we're not going to talk. So say for example, I'd start, I'd be halfway through because I was born in June, okay? So I'm going to put up six fingers, so all the June people would come by me, I'm about halfway through, okay? But we're only halfway done, okay? Here we are in June, then I'm going to go the day. Okay, that's me. The 14th. Okay, so if somebody, other June person comes here, maybe a June 24th, they're going to get over here. June, they're going to get over here. So we want to get an order according to our birth month and the day that we were born in that particular month. All right, so in about five seconds, we're going to get up. We're not talking at all. We're going to start January all the way over to December. Here I am. Okay, up, move. Not a sound. Everybody. Okay. You're going to stand up nice and straight, not leaning on anything, and say, my name is, give me your first and last name, I was born on January 15th. Don't give me the year. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. If I need you to talk louder, I'm going to put my hand up like this so we can all hear. Okay, because some of us have these little soft voices. Start again. My name is Deja Caranto, and my birthday is January 6th. When is I was born on September 12th? September 12th? Okay, remember, we, we, we're getting to know each other, so we need first names and last names. You can see we have January's, raise your hand. February, March, April, none, May, June, July, July. You're in the wrong place, kiddo. August, September, October, November, December. Okay. We're going to play a game so that you can get to know each other better and learn each other's names, which is really important. What you're going to do is you're going to get a blank bingo sheet, just like this. 
and you're going to walk around the room and introduce yourself to as many people as you can and you can only use their name one time you have to write their name which means you have to ask them how to spell it and the spelling has to be correct so let me give you a little example since you've played it before can you come on up so what we're going to do is we're going to pretend to play mingo bingo and we're going to kind of show you how it's done what we're going to do is we're going to walk towards each other and then we're going to mingle ready are you watching? Okay. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Hi, Marco. I'm Dana. Marco, how do I spell that? Can you, can you spell my name? I spe it's not really spelled the way it sounds. Okay, it's D A. Y and A. Okay, I'll see you later. Okay, bye. And that's it. Quick. Quick, get to the point, be nice, be respectful, you're walking, you're calm, and you're getting to know each other. What I want you to do is on the count of three, I want you to start mingling and remember are we going to run what are we going to do we're going to walk are we going to ask others to write their name on our sheet what are we going to do ask them how to spell it and you're going to do all the writing on your bingo board okay I know everyone's going to have excellent behavior, but if I see something that doesn't look safe, I'm going to ask you to take a seat. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Put that on your desk. Here we go. So there we go. You got Walter and Walter. Who is this? Do you know Matthew? Yeah. Very good. All right. You're welcome. So you want to make sure that you get either a column. Now, she, there's only two columns that she's going to be able to win. That's the B column and the I because she didn't finish. So if you get all of these, it doesn't count. Okay? It has to go all the way down to the bottom or all the way across. But she can win this way, this way, this way, this way. This way, right? Okay? So when you hear a name called, you just cross it out. Show me a thumbs up if you're ready to play. Thumbs up if you're ready to play. Thank you, thank you. Katarina. Achina, Achina, Achina. Okay, come on up with your paper so I can check your paper. Come on up. Now we're going to, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I called these names. Now show me the bingo. Okay, so we said Miguel B. Yes, we said Miguel B. Yes. Did we say Katerina? Yes. Matthew? Yes. Akana? Yes. Tane? Yes. And Jenny? Yes. So we got a bingo. So now you're the caller. Come on up. Gary? Gary? 